Thank you so much, Dr. Sulin, Mitra, and Hop Anderson for your excellent presentations. And thank you to Dr. Dalraviro and Drs. Mitra, Ahmed, and Singh for your enlightening tumor board discussion. The theme for this conference is deepening your understanding of NETS. So Dr. Hendafar, what makes it important to educate oneself and have a deeper understanding of NETS? Yeah, it's so important that one educates themselves. And I think um, educating themselves about their illness includes more than just reading journal articles and textbooks. It means uh, getting to like-minded patients through organizations like LACNETS, listening to lectures from experts, and also uh, understanding other patients' stories and communicating with other patients. And, and through this education, through a better understanding of what you're dealing with, I think patients have less anxiety, they can make better treatment decisions, they really understand what's happening around them, and most importantly, they understand what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done. It brings clarity and ease. Thank you, Dr. Hendafar. Dr. Lee, what do you think? How else can deepening one's understanding benefit someone living with NETS? I think deepening one's understanding of uh, educating themselves about living with NETS is really important. And I think the most paramount importance of this type of education is that you will have the ability to communicate very well to your medical team. Uh, as well as your medical providers, which is essential in terms of raising the bar of care. So in conjunction with LACNETS, you know, we, we, we looked at this when we initially developed uh, Net Vitals, which is a self-assessment tool that you can go on to the LACNETS websites and do it for yourself. And the goal of that is really, you know, through education, being able to raise uh, not only awareness uh, for yourself in terms of the understanding of the disease, but improve that communication with your providers so that you maximize the time that you have with them in the clinic or in the hospital most efficiently uh, to improve your overall care. Wow, many benefits to deepening understanding of NETS. Um, Mary, as a patient, how does it help you to go beyond a superficial understanding and truly have a deeper understanding of NETS? Well, this one is very different for every patient. And I can honestly say for me, I have been on both sides of the coin with this is I started out with what I would consider a very superficial <laughs> um, understanding. And I think it's um, being diagnosed as young as I was with two small children. I was really intimidated by the disease and um, by nets and felt as though putting my head in the sand was a little bit easier and then really diving into it. That has completely changed over the years and um, I'm no longer intimidated by it. And I think investing the time to learn about the disease, net specific, because it's so unique as we've talked about, and then really getting to know other patients, getting to hear their firsthand experience has been an invaluable source of comfort and information for me over the years. So I can't stress enough, having been on both sides, that I think learning this disease, learning the intricacies of it has helped me so much. And honestly, I'm incredibly grateful to LACNETS for that. Um, my connections to the community as well as um, the physicians in the community has been invaluable. So thanks for sharing the range of experiences that you've had. Beth, what about you? As a patient, how does it help you to have a deeper understanding of NETS? It's, it's helped considerably because in my initial diagnosis, I felt that I, ha I was shouting loudly for everyone to hear me and understand, but I was speaking this completely other language and no one could hear me. No one could understand what I was saying until I met Giovanna, Joyce, and Basie and finally found someone speaking the same language I was speaking without any translation and led me to two of the most amazing women as well that are on this panel with me today, Mary and Lisa. Yeah, the power of connection. It's the deeper That's understanding right. is so much, um, not just education and information, but connecting with people. So we're pleased to introduce our final set of speakers. Mary, take it away. If there was ever a advocate, caregiver, and child that we would all want to have in our corner. It's Shane for his mom, Ilka, who's been living with Nets. Uh, Shane has done an extraordinary job of taking care of um, the intricacies, nuances, appointments, labs, everything for his mom. And I'm so excited for you to hear their story. 
Uh, it's a pleasure to introduce Dr. Heidi Del Rivero, a medical oncologist and endocrinologist at the National Cancer Institute and the NIH in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, she'll be talking about understanding your endocrine tumor guidelines, and it is also available in Spanish. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Pamela Coons, who is a medical oncologist at Yale and our past NANETS president. And it's so welcoming to have her discuss with us understanding the latest in terms of net clinical trials.